Inner ear hearing loss can come from a number of uh, factors. One, can just be congenital pre-programming. Two, it can be age. Three, it can be noise. Or four, it can be something toxic, like certain antibiotics or even an infection of the inner ear. Depending on the cause, there are different treatments we can use. Sometimes, we can actually squirt a little steroid medicine right into the ear to reverse bruising of the nerve cells before they actually die off. Sometimes we'll use a hearing aid to amplify the sound. Ms. Davis had had progressive hearing loss for about 20 years. Uh, she was a very good lip reader, but was really interested in hearing better. So for Ms. Davis, what we did is an operation called the cochlear implant. In this operation, what we do is place a wire into the inner ear to stimulate the hearing nerve directly. Because her little nerve endings had not been working properly, this allows us to directly stimulate the system and send the sound to her brain. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn on all of the electrodes together and we're going to let her listen to live speech. Okay? Yeah, okay. it's just amazing! <laughs> I'm serious. Her prognosis is excellent. She already understood that sound had meaning in communication. So Ms. Davis should be able to understand uh, spoken words and make sense in communication. And so far, we're really quite thrilled with how she's doing. The ear looks wonderful. And let's take a look here at the device. That looks fine. Why don't you go ahead and take it off? Show me you know how to do that well. Perfect. That feels excellent. Anybody that is hearing impaired that is even considering it at all, at least be tested for it. I mean, well, at least be tested. And if you're a candidate, it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. I'm now a totally different person, a totally different lifestyle. I love hearing. I love hearing.